Hunter from The Girl Can Cook, and today we're making shrimp scampi, which was suggested by my friend Trey Norwood. As recipes, whenever I asked my friends what they would like for me to cook next, I got a ton of responses, and this is one of the recipes. So right now what we're doing is I have my uh, preheated to uh, medium heat on the stove. What right now what we're going to do is we're going to add three tablespoons of cooking oil. And 14 raw deveined shrimp. <laughs> I'm gonna add it to the pan. When you hear it sizzling, you know we're doing good. Then what we're gonna do is add a tablespoon and a half of fresh minced garlic. A, ta a tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and three tablespoons of butter. And what we're going to do, as you can see, they're turning pink. You're going to cook them until they're opaque, which means you can't see through them anymore. And continue turning them. And it looks like there's a lot of liquid in the pan. And that's okay. Because it gives them more cooking liquid to for them to cook in. And it does look like a lot of butter, but the more butter, the better they're going to be. After cooking them, they're supposed to look like this, where you can't see any, any see-through gray or anything. Now we're going to take them off the burner over here, turn off your oven, stove, and then you're going to take them out and put them on a plate. I have a ladle, which you don't have to use this big of a spoon, but just for this, you can. It might fall over, so you can just take them out. And also there's a tip, if you cook them, if you overcook them, they're going to be tough and rubbery and they're not going to be great. So that's why it's great that they only cook for a few minutes. Make sure they cook all the way. And what I just did is I poured all the remaining cooking stuff onto it. And now we're going to try it out. Make sure you get a little bit of that, that oil and butter and all that great goodness that went into it. Mmm, it's fantastic. And it's an easy trick recipe. It doesn't take very long and it will impress your friends. If you haven't checked out my blog yet, go to hunterlovestocook.blogspot.com. Bye guys. Perfect pairing for the shrimp scampi is cheesy garlic biscuits, which taste just like the ones from Red Lobster. This is a super simple recipe. What we have is two cups of biscuit making, baking mix, two thirds a cup of milk, which you're going to pour into the baking mix, and half a cup of sh shredded cheddar cheese. And what you're going to do is take your whisk and you're going to combine them until a dough forms. should look like this. It doesn't look like a lot, but it'll make enough. 
to serve with your shrimps can't be. What you do is take your dough and spoon it out into a, a spoon. And you want to put it onto a prepared baking sheet that has Pam sprayed on it. And what you want to do is take your fork that you use to help get the stuff out of your whisk and drop it down. And then next, what you're going to do is take four tablespoons of butter with a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You're going to mix it together. Combine the two. And you're going to whisk them with your little brush. And you're going to put a little bit of butter on top of each one. And then you're going to do this until you run out of dough and melted butter. Now that we have all the biscuits buttered and onto the pan, we've ended up making 12 biscuits. Now we're going to put them into a 350 degree preheated oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Now we've taken them out of the oven. I want to actually tell you is that a lot of ovens vary, so you might have to add additional time for them to be cooked. And then what we did is we put them under their broiler for a low broil for two minutes and they get extra crispy on top and they look very, very delicious. And now I like to take a bite, take a small one. You can tell that it's all flaky and you can see the steam coming out. And that's exactly what you want. Mm. Tastes just like a red lobster biscuit. And you made it yourself, and it's simple, easy ingredients that you have around the house. And that's all I've got to say for now. But if you haven't done so yet, go check out my blog at HunterLovesToCook.blogspot.com.